I have a Google Home Mini here. We're gonna go ahead and get you set up. Doesn't matter if you use an iPhone or Android phone, the whole process on either device is very, very similar, okay? So the first thing you wanna do with your Google Home Mini is you wanna go ahead and give it power. So go ahead and pop this in here and just let it give it power for like 20 seconds or so. It'll say something soon, okay? As we're waiting for this, let's go to your app store. Doesn't matter if it's an iOS or your uh, Android store. Uh, go ahead and look for Google Home right here. Go ahead and download that, and then I can go ahead and open that. And I'm still waiting for um, the Google Home here to give me some instructions. It's gonna say something in one second. Here we go. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, so we're, we're already working on the, uh, the Google um, Home app here. You do have to sign in, you have to use one of your Gmail accounts, okay? So from here, once you're here, just go ahead and click on Get Started, right there. And this is a clean slate for me with the Google Home, okay? So this is the first device I'm adding on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on Set Up New Device, right there. It says uh, Choose Your Home. So I'm gonna go ahead, this will be my first home here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the plus sign here. Create another home, and then click on Next. Go ahead and nickname this whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and type in office and then home address. You can put that information in here as well if you want. I'm fine with no home address. Let me just go ahead and click on next. Now because I didn't put a home address in, it says without a valid address, responses about weather, traffic, and other things may be inaccurate, okay? I mean, it's pretty accurate even if I don't put my home address in these, okay? Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and continue here, continue anyway. Looking for devices, it should find it right away. Everything is on, is ready to go. Okay, there we go, the Google Home 7302, all right, that must be it. Let's go ahead and click on Next here, connecting to Google Home. While we're waiting for this, uh, don't forget, on the Google Home device itself, I mean, first thing is, if you look on the back here, we have a mic mute button, okay? So basically, you put on mute, then you, every time you say, hey, Google, it's not going to um, start listening, okay? And then also, you can go ahead, and if you're playing music or whatnot, what you can do is... To increase the volume, you can tap right here on the right side. To decrease, you can tap on the left side. If you wanted to pause it, you can press and hold here or press and hold here. To resume, same thing, press and hold here or press and hold there. So, all right, so we did hear that beep sound, that boop boop. So we're gonna go ahead and click on yes. Gotta agree to this right here. Help improve Google Mini. That's up to you, you can do no thanks or yes, I'm in, doesn't really matter. Where's this uh, device? I'm just gonna go ahead and, this is basically if you have like multiple, like Google Assistant devices all around the house. So I'm just gonna click on Office there. Now from here, you need to go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi. I'm already connected to my Wi-Fi here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on Next. Let it connect to the uh, Wi-Fi here so the both devices can start talking. Come on. Okay, it's connected. Now we have like a few more steps here. Okay, so now we can go click on next here. Activate voice match on this uh, device. It doesn't matter, I can put no thanks, it still works perfectly fine, but just for this tutorial, we'll just put I agree here. We'll click on I agree and I'll recognize her voice here, okay? So we'll go, I agree. Now I didn't even insert an address, but it put um, a similar address very close to me here, okay? Anyway, that's fine. I'll leave it just like that. I'll go ahead and click on next. Now you wanna select a default music service. Now I'm not paying for any of these services. If you're not paying for any of them, I mean, I would recommend just go with Google Play Music. Click on next. Radio services, I don't use any of this. I just click on not now. Uh, link video services, you can do that. You have Hulu or, or Netflix. I'm not gonna do this now. I'm not even gonna do it ever actually. Okay, so link TV services, I'm gonna click on not now for that as well. Getting started with voice calls, I'm gonna click on not now. I really don't need that. 
Stating a no, that's up to you. I'm gonna go with no thanks. And from here, you can add a payment method if you wanna shop things on uh, Google and whatnot. Not for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on next right here. Office speaker is ready. Let's go ahead and click on con Hi, I'm your right Google there. Assistant. It's great to meet you. There are a lot of ways I can help you get things done. Hey, Let's Go try a few. Or hey. if you already know your way around, just say, I'm done. I'm done. First, we'll play a short music hey, clip. Hey, Google. What time is it? It's 8.20 p.m. Hey, Google. What's tomorrow's forecast? In Monrovia tomorrow, it'll be sunny with a high of 89 and a low of 64. You guys should be up and running. Okay.